Oh, he's gonna fight us? Dang! Thanks, me children of the solstice, but why he gotta... Why he gotta turn up on us like this? What is up, guys, and welcome back to some more Sea of Stars. We just met up with Carl, uh, got our tank now in the group, who's actually, like, a really good healer. Uh, now we're just working our way uh, to go to, like, the city still. Moonering. Yep. Then I'll focus on increasing, like, the damage for, uh, for Valerian's Hail. Uh, let me hop down. Recipe. Eight MP, so we need potato, shrimp, and water. Is that what that was? Get that extra damage in. Level up. I like how it's for like everybody. It's not just like each character individually. So she's really good at like physical. Ball up for physical. Looks like his magical is up. I should get his health up too. Dang. Let me up his health once and then after that I'll up his attack. <laughs> magic, mana, defense, magic, defense. I'm gonna say physical defense for now, just because I don't see magic being an issue like that early on like this. So we'll we'll keep it at that for now. But I will say I like the level up system. I say that as like we run across these type of enemies. God dang, the EXP jump is crazy. 1200 for the next level? I wonder if resting like responds to enemies. Is everybody good? Why are we facing this way? Cave there. What's the point of going up? Oh no, that seems like somewhere we're supposed to go. <laughs> we're gonna go adventure real quick down below actually. Okay, so these are just like shortcuts back, right? If I want to heal up. No, we don't want to. We want to just check out that other cave, I guess. What could this be? Uh... Y'all don't let me interact with it or anything? Oh, that's lame. Thought I'd be able to, like, you know, use magic or something to activate it. Oh, ho, ho. Elder Mist? 
Ooh. Two children of the solstice have come for their rite of passage. But I also sense one who does not belong here. <laughs> Is he brave or foolish? Ooh, let's find out. Welcome, young adventurers, to the Sacred Pond. Nice to meet you, Ultimist. My name is Garl. My, what a gregarious one you are. <laughs> Enthusiasm is certainly welcome in this place of meditation, but it's rather not meant for the common folk. Children of the Solstice, step forward. Ooh. Ho ho ho! It seems you show great potential indeed. Have you weaved your will into celestial fabrics? We have, Elder Mist. Then come closer and let them be imbued by the Sacred Pond's magic. I mean, will it make leveling up easier for us? <laughs> Ooh, a tremendous resonance. Wear them with purpose, for they will augment your innate magic. You shall henceforth have light in the darkest places and protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. I don't feel any different. Yeah, me neither. Ooh, rest assured, the ability to use magic without using magic has taken root in you indeed. What does that even mean? And how does it work? It arises from need. And the many battles that await you, victory often demand the use of more offensive magic than one can sustain through spells alone. That is why attunement to live mana is paramount. Live mana? Ooh, it allows your attacks to draw from the magic bestowed upon you at birth. And judging by the resonance you create, the power should even extend to your traveling companions. I'll snap so my boy can use magic? Because of us? You are ready. Live mana will start manifesting for you the next time you enter battle. Are you ready for your final test? Elder Mist, I'd like to go with them. Oof, the Elder Mist Trials have never been undertaken by anyone but aspiring Solstice Warriors. But I go, I want to go with them, please. Interesting, you are the first of the common folk to ever make such a request. He sure is a peculiar one. No doubt limited when it comes to combat, but the warmth of his heart. Did he bring it back? Perhaps we should try to find out. All right. I will allow it. All right. Thanks, Elder Mist. Consider it a test of your ability to act as a companion to Solstice Warriors. I won't fail. We are ready. Then close your eyes and take a deep breath. Welcome to the Elder Mist Trials. To pass this final test, you must bring three big relics together by completing their associated challenges. The monster that will try to stop you are immune to physical attacks, and the use of offensive spells is prohibited. What? What? How then? Ooh, that is why you must use magic without using magic. Live mana can boost your battle actions with a portion of your magic attack. Embrace this power and your training will be complete. Oh, this is interesting, guys. Whoa, I have to try that. The trials await, should you wish to return for a while. Simply close your eyes and concentrate next to where you just appeared. Godspeed. I was like, we didn't get healed up or nothing. At least we can get like the mana regen, right? That attack did nothing. A spell will probably do it, but we can't use them here. Guess that's the part where using magic without using magic comes in. But how? Hey, some little ab orbs appeared when I attacked. Yeah, I was kind of wondering what dropped on the battlefield there. Maybe that's live mana. Could be. I feel a kind of pull towards them. Yeah, I feel it too. Let me try something. Oh snap! Whoa! 
It worked. How does it feel? Like power. So if I attack, it should do magic damage now. So this is how you make your physical attacks magic? Okay. That was amazing. I want to try it next. Boosting has been unlocked. Regular attacks will now generate live mana. Hold R2 and press X to absorb a charge and boost. Up to three boosting charges can be stacked, each adding a portion of your character's magic attack stat to their next action to increase its power. In the case of regular attacks, the character's innate magic damage type, if they have one, is also added on top of their weapon's damage type. Whether you're dealing with an intricate lock pattern, need to make your next healing spell really count, or just want to deal more damage, remember to boost. Okay, so we can boost our, our healing as well. That's actually really dope. Okay, these are like the three different paths. So we're gonna go left first. And we'll finish up in the center. We'll go left, right, then center. Actually, let me take this off. I, oh, I have to like literally select nothing. So I feel like it's not even like displaying. So I wonder if it has to be on like the main characters. Oops. I'm surprised they don't let me use, or they're not letting me use uh, the Fun ball. I thought I have enough mana for it. I'm like, was there any benefit for it being in that other spot? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so now we move that back, climb up the ladder, and then we can continue passing through. Heal my boy up, cause uh, he hurt right now. And it looks like you can only carry like a max of like ten items on you, so I might as well go through like the tomato clubs first too. So inventory management is going to be a thing. Oh snap! We just teleport. Okay. What? What was? That was what the challenge was. Oh man, I didn't even like really need to do that. I could have just rested at the camp to, to heal up the squad, but oh well, it, it's whatever. Like I said, inventory management apparently is going to be a thing in this game. I will say I'm, I'm like excited to learn some new spells because I feel like this area just makes it so you can't even like look at your regular skills. A shiny pearl. Okay, so that's something you can sell. All right. I did not know we were gonna make that jump. That was, looks like a far jump, but I guess we jumped down, so. Guess it's not as far as we were expecting.
That's like a nice little shortcut there. Wait, that was that was quick compared to the left side. I mean, I'm all for it because we get to rest up, shave, so that way, just in case something eps us up, we're good to go. We can just try it again with a new strategy. On that side, on that side. Oh, what is this? Get this artifact piece. You will need to answer three questions correctly. Let's see how well you learned. Of these two actions, which one regenerates MP? Yeah, come on. Don't play with me. But I guess this is like one way they're trying to ensure that everybody understands the combat <laughs> system in the game. Wait, why did I do that? Yeah, so everybody understands the combat system in the game, how everything works before they, I guess, put you out there on your own. Which, I'm not gonna lie, like, if this is still supposed to be like the tutorial aspect of the game, they're doing a really good job because I actually kind of forgot about like, you know, an intro tutorial section of a game. What is the name of the school you went to? Zenith Academy. Mushroom Scramble. All right. I like how Garl is like balancing on those with us. One important solstice war duty is to destroy dwellers who become vulnerable during which national phenomenon? The eclipse. We didn't have to fight anything in here, okay. Or yet, I guess. Are all three of these going to be enemies we fight? Oh, what's that? This is our last chance to prepare. Do you feel ready? Yeah, we're, we're healed up, right? And we'll still have to get the live mana throughout the fight. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. The young adventurers have finished the preparations. Huh? I see you understand the power of live mana. But can you master it? We shall see. The use of spells is now allowed again. Oh, he's gonna fight us? Dang! Thanks, me children of the solstice. But why he gotta, why he gotta turn up on us like this? Okay, both were. Oh wait, counter. We got a counter. So this fight, with this like counter sword thing, it's like you're gonna need to attack to build up like the mana, so that way you can start using, or the live mana, so that way, uh, I still got those items yet, that way you can get really strong vulnerable hits in, so looks like, got the blunt effect.
I really don't know how we're gonna... Well, we got three turns. So I need to heal. Kinda need to heal everybody, honestly. heal him just because he's able to heal someone else, if not himself. Uh, that's all that does is just like heal, heal himself up like that. Yeah, the decision on, like, who to heal in this fight. <laughs> Especially because it's kind of difficult building up, like, the combo here. Yeah, that was actually like a really good hit. Come on, I pressed the block. Dang. Oh, we see, we really need her up. <laughs>
Man, I thought I got the second hit in there. But I guess not. Okay, so this fight makes more sense now. <laughs> I don't know why I was why I was being an idiot. But you're gonna wanna take the sword out. <laughs> After you take the sword out, he shouldn't be able to counter anymore. I'd rather him heal himself than heal up that sword that has the counter. Dang, he's quick with it. Break 50 locks, okay. There we go. I don't know why, like, throughout the fight, I forgot that <laughs> you could target the other arm. Like, I think it was just, like, a single enemy. How formidable. A bright future awaits you indeed. Valerian Zale, I name you Solstice Warriors. I knew it. You're the best. Ha, ah, there it is. We did it. I have consulted the mist of time during your trials. When you're ready to leave this place, find me back at the Sacred Pond and I will tell you of your respective prophecies. Then you will be sent out into the world. Whew. Don't take too long now.
Well then. That happened. <laughs> but guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to end this episode off right here. But you know, hit that sub button for your boy helps me out. Also hit the like button. But with that said, stay sharp guys. Later.